Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky. That's right. It's the end of the year and whenever you have a due date, Mm. a time stamp, or any type of... I want to say a a crunch. Yeah. You start feeling the pressure. It's those chronological markers that we use to define what's going on in life. We measure our own success. Yes. And it's that time, it's the perfect moment for that that critical monster (laughs) inside our souls to come out and say, oh my gosh, it's the end of the year. You didn't mark off all your goals. You didn't do enough. You weren't successful. You need to hurry up and get more done. Hurry up. <laughs> Time's running out. Yeah. Oh, it's my gosh. It's so easy to get caught up in the hurry, hurry. Time's running out. You, you got you, you to gotta be better. You got to be better. You got to live up to the expectation of what everyone else is doing. Or sometimes even our own expectations. Uh, exactly. But we forget that all the things that we have done because of the couple things that we haven't done. Because it's the end of the year. And, and right now, I know, we're in the holiday season. And so that's what we are experiencing right now. Yesterday... I literally had a moment where I'm like, we're supposed to be on the road right now. <laughs> we, I don't have all of our Christmas gifts bought. We're not completely I'm packed. I'm not packed. Our house isn't cleaned. I don't have all of my financing in order to buy this house that I wanted to buy by the end of the year. I don't have all these things done. I don't have the dog groomed. I don't have blah, 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 blah. And I got into this moment where... Of all the things I haven't done, all of the things I, it was almost like I was living in, oh my gosh, Jana is failing. It was Jana isn't reaching the mark. And it's funny because then you have one eye on the to-do list and one eye on the clock. And the to-do list grows into this massive mountain and the clock starts speeding up and you, and then you get that anxiety and that feeling of, it's almost like when 60 minutes used to come on before it's Monday. Frenzy. Yeah. And you come up and, it, and then you start creating more chaos because you you're do. running around from task to task saying, maybe I can get a little bit of this done. Maybe I can get a little bit of that done. Okay. Stop. Everybody just stop. Collaborate and listen. (laughs) And let's zoom out here. Because when you are feeling the chaos, when you are feeling the frenzy, when you are feeling the time crunch, and that's what you're focused on, then guess what you create? Guess what you start manifesting? Guess what you start putting your attention on and focusing on where your attention goes, your life will grow. Have you heard that before? When you start focusing on what you haven't accomplished, then guess what? You're going to start manifesting even more things that you haven't accomplished. You're going to start seeing your reticular activating system is going to start seeing all of these things that you haven't lived up to, you haven't done, you haven't achieved. Yeah, when you focus on it, you kind of feed it. You so do. The, the focus is the feeding, and then it, that's going to allow it to grow. You start reverse manifesting. That's what you yeah. do. That is exactly what you do. You start living in the rush, and it, the feeling underneath all of that starts creating more of it. Yeah. And when you feel, so we talk about in our, what state are we in all the time? And we just it all comes down to the state changing that state. Because when you are, when you feel in a rush, when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel panicked, when you feel like you have all these things to do, how are you showing up? Like one of the things that you're I, showing up, look, I, I those, didn't mean to cut you that's off, all right. but that's how you show up. Yeah. You start cutting people off. You start thinking in these chaotic manners. You start talking in half sentences, half sentences. <laughs> you try to communicate and your brain is going 
a mile a minute. Nobody can understand you. Y your dog is following you around going, I don't understand. Why are we in this room? Why are we in this are room? Are we coming? Are we you're going? You're doing are three we... things at once. Are we doing laundry or dishes? Because you're doing both at the same time. Why are there dishes in the washing machine? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you start creating the chaos that's in your mind already and that and those things that you're focusing on. So one of the biggest tools is just slowing down and prioritizing. Okay, what, is, what is the most important right now? The opposite of what we should be doing in right. that moment. Because we've been focused on the clock ticking faster and faster, like, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. And also on the to-do list getting bigger and bigger. So we think in our heads, oh my gosh, we need to move faster. We need to work smarter. We need to you know, be more productive. And the truth is, it's actually the opposite. That planning session, like prioritizing session. It's like Delegate. Before, before anybody, any country goes into battle, they're going to go sit together and they're going to discuss, okay, what are the logistics? What does this look like? And what's the plan? And let's get smarter is, is, a, is a good belief, but let's get more focused and let's get laser. Okay, what's really important yeah. here? what really needs to get done. And let's just focus on those two things. And if we have to adjust a timetable, adjust a timetable. But if it's if it's not that important, don't make it more important than it is. And and things that don't get done, okay. It, it, it's, that's okay. Well, the truth is the to-do list never goes away. Like there's, you're never gonna wake up in the morning and go, I've got nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> You might feel like that, but there's you'll, you'll know in your heart that, hey, these are the things that I want to get done. And what's keeping you motionless is that fear of success. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the biggest trick right now. And Jason mentioned it. It's, it's being aware of what state okay. we are in. Mm. Now, how do we change our state how do we change our state? So the biggest and easiest way to change your state is literally by taking a deep breath. Mm. And I know that seems so easy. I mean, we're breathing all the time. Well, So when you're in the, that panic, that rushed state, if you're aware, you'll notice that your, breath's, your breath is short, quick, exasperated. And we're it's, hunched over, it's the whole, we're moving from room to room, we're, we're like going a mile a minute, when we get stuck in traffic, we're immediately in reactive mode, we're like, gosh darn it, blah, 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 blah. We're, I mean, watch the language that comes out of your mouth, I mean, there's signs that you yeah. are in it. It's like you're a little pressure cooker. And yes. so you can almost feel your shoulders coming down, like wrapping up into a little ball. So, so you, your whole body starts tensing up a little bit. Your breath gets shorter. The, if you imagine a pressure cooker and that little relief valve on top that yes. shakes back and forth. So then you start getting a little bit um, frustrated with people around you. Yes. Like, whether it's traffic, whether it's people in the store, whether it's the people in your house that you love. And then so you start spewing out a little steam on people. You do. Until you, you're like, I can, I, you still think, I can handle this, I can handle this. And you keep speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. And then you have a meltdown or you explode. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Eventually. Yeah. And but you, if you breathe, like you were saying, and just slow down, that will help you speed up. And it kind of relieves the... <sighs> yeah, take the lid off. <laughs> and it also allows you to put your shoulders back. Mm. And it allows Physiology. you to sit up straight and it allows you to relax your facial muscles and to realize, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> I am, it, sometimes it's that two millimeter shift. Where's my, where's my mouth? Am I, am I grimacing or am I smiling? Am I, where's my forehead? You know, am I in that is it all wrinkled face? up? Yeah. Am could I people, in the stink face? Could a, a little pollution climb up my forehead because it's so wrinkled and yes. uh, all tense? Or, or am I relaxed and allowing for God's light to just woo, work through me? You know, it, it's noticing those little tiny things. Yeah, it's kind of calling on. We talked about our um, 
our inner warrior, our inner queen, our inner king, our inner magician, and calling on these things inside us to say, okay, who am I? I am successful. Let's let's just show up in a more powerful, more empowered way instead of feeling like the weight of the world's on our shoulders. And even in a more calm mm. and peaceful manner. Yes. Right? Isn't that what Christmas is really about? Right. <laughs> We forget that sometimes we forget that. And you know, it's not only about Christmas. So even if you're listening to this podcast in July or in September or February, you know, there's always these little timestamps, deadlines, or 11th hours, we might call them when we put measuring sticks on our life, whether it's the end of the first quarter end of the second quarter, if you're in your business, or maybe in your personal life, it's if it's a birthday coming up or an anniversary coming up, or maybe if it's a date where you've had a traumatic event in your past and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, it's the day that, you know, I, I lost this or this happened to me. This happened to me. Yeah. And, and you think, I thought that I would have gotten over this by now. You know, it, it's, it's those days where we kind of put this dread or we put a feeling, we attach a feeling to it. And for me, that's what the holidays do. I attach this frenzy feeling. I attach this automatic mm, obligation I attach expectation expectations and and it's it all comes down to markers that I've put in the past in the past of how I feel people expect me to show up at Christmas and it's all in my head these are yeah. all expectations that I put in my head and it really comes down to when I haven't shown up in these particular ways and somebody says something like, oh, well, this isn't the way I thought you would yeah. react or this isn't the kind of present I thought you would You've give. You've changed. You've changed. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's my feelings getting hurt yeah. is what it is. And me not being able to handle my feelings getting hurt. But that's something that I have had to... Yeah, now you're like, you know what? I'm not here on this planet to appease other people. I'm here to please myself. So, yeah, and when you're living fully in your power and greatness, then the right people will be pleased and the right people will be excited about that. Yeah, and it's not about me trying to please them, it's about me pleasing myself. And so my my feelings shouldn't be hurt if I displease them my feelings should be excited that i pleased myself yes that's really what it comes down to yeah so slow down take a breath yes breathe in a couple of times change your state to an empowered state good advice slow down to speed up so prioritize figure out what is the most important to you and then show up as your best self and what we're what it really comes down to is we are creating our reality amen we are creating our reality, and once we become aware of our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions, life just takes a whole new... It's, it's powerful. Are you ready for that kind of power? Are you ready to start living life? Love you guys. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.